Hello and welcome to Fulton Street Beats, guys. We have something today that we're going to unbox. It is a guitar that everybody loves to hate or everybody hates to love. What is that? Well, we got a Clary sent to us today. And this is my first Glary. Um I purchased this guitar for a project. Um, basically, I purchased it for a wall hanger project that I was going to improve um, over time. Let's get into it and see exactly what it is, what the quality is. Um, Two Bike Mike just did an unboxing of a Strat style guitar that's basically the same thing as a Glary. I think this one might be a bit different because I believe well, this one's supposed to come with Wilkinson pickup. So let's get into it. Let's check it out and see. How, that was about the easiest box I've ever opened. And it does have Wilkinson pickups. So that is fantastic. Let's get it. Let's see what we got in the box here. Of course, we have a guitar case. Very cheap case, but nonetheless a case. We'll just add it to the collection of cases over here. There we go. We have a guitar cord. We have our whammy bar and our truss rod adjuster. Actually, this cord looks better than ships with most of the inexpensive guitars. And of course, we have a guitar strap that weighs. You're going to love this. we got to weigh the guitar strap. I'm going to start doing this. Weighing guitar straps because it's pretty funny. It weighs 0.135 of an ounce. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I would trust that, but let's get to the meat and potatoes and unbox this thing and see exactly what we've got. And I'll tell you what my plans are for this. Now, of course, I know everybody knows this is going to be a uh, basswood body, uh, maple neck, and I got it in sunburst. This is weightier than I thought it was going to be, so there may be some differences going on here than what I was expecting. Um, I'm going to weigh this for you guys because this is a lot heavier than I expected. The neck is definitely going to need some um, steel wool, make it a little faster. Of course, it's got the generic tuners on it. These are basically the tuners that come on all the kit guitars too, just so you know. Um, it's a little dusty, Wilkinson pickups. The action appears to be okay, but we do have some, uh, no, I thought we had some damage on the fretboard. We don't, it's just a, a little bit of a rough cut and it just came off of my fingernail. Wilkinson pickups. Um. This has acoustic guitar strings on it. <laughs> this has what appears to be acoustic guitar strings on it. So maybe they're running out of, maybe that's why it's so cheap. They ran out of strings. That is pretty funny. Um, now the nut on this appears to be bone, which is a surprise. Huh, another unexpected surprise. The truss rod, cavity is very clean and the truss rod is actually very uh it's a very clean hole i'm not used to seeing that on any expensive guitars either um it's cool i guess i'll tell you what i paid for it in a little bit here um yeah do you see this we got gold acoustic guitar strings on it how are they going to sound we're going to try it though wilkinson pickups let's um Wow. I was going to take it apart for you guys, but I think we're going to do that in a different episode because I really want to try this with the Wilkinson. So I want to check out this, this jack, though. Let's check out this output jack. There is compound material. Finish appears to be very nice. It's just a cheap boat tail jack. Um, it appears to be a... Uh, Appears to be a lacquer. So yeah, that's a lacquer. So that's pretty neat. Um, so upgrades. Well, let me show you, you guys are gonna laugh. So 
searching for an inexpensive guitar because I wanted to make possibly a relic. I don't know if I want to go that route yet, but maybe. So what I did is I ordered this to create a Stevie Ray Vaughan type replica guitar as a wall hanger because I'm not paying the expense for a real one. And it was just to be a wall hanger and hang behind me, but I started buying parts and parts are on their way for it. And I may change the neck because this is a you know light maple neck. Or I might even uh, dye this neck. You never know. Because if you have a dark neck, of course the headstock's not correct. I'm not trying to fool anybody. But at the same time, maybe I can just pick up another neck and put it on. The pit guard is cut exceptionally well. It does have the proper back cut on it. Knobs are not gritty. Switch functions. It's, I mean, it does what a guitar is supposed to do as long as it, we plug it in and it plays. Um, I'll change the boat tail jack to a uh, to a gold one. Um, trim, I'm going to have to see what my options are because I want to put a reverse left hand trim on it. And uh, probably going to have to route out a little bit for that. Um, and definitely am not going to be able to reshape this headstock because of the way Polarity cuts it. However, is that a real big deal if we're just trying to create a type of replica? So finish on this seems outstanding. It does have a really nice finish. Um, we're going to weigh it because they say it's basswood. Or basswood, I'm sorry. Basswood. Maybe it's the pickups. Maybe the Wilkinsons are heavy because uh, this is definitely doesn't feel like most basswood guitars. It seems it's a bit heavier. Let's uh, let's weigh it. Or maybe it's those big heavy acoustic strings. Yeah, that that's a joke, by the way. Let me hear the comment section now. So let's uh, let's sit around here and see what we got for weight. Make sure she's zeroed out. Oh yeah, 8.3 pounds. Yeah, eight pounds, three ounces. It's not a bad weight guitar. It's actually um, a lot weightier than I thought it would be. Kind of strange, right guys? I think that's very weird. Let me, um, I got a bit of wet, I've been working over here, so I have a bit of wetness going on here. I've been doing some wet sanding, working on the, uh, on the gem, build kit and I've been doing some wet sanding on the lacquer um yeah I can't believe they use acoustic they do uh they do resonate <laughs> unbelievable pretty funny right but what do you guys think okay what was the price of course you're dirty what was the price i paid for this maple necked wilkinson pickup guitar with a bone nut 70 bucks ebay 70 dollars so um is it a good deal 70 bucks i you know it's a good deal 70 bucks 70 bucks for a good guitar body that's presentable is worth it. I'm gonna check the straightness of the neck here in a second. Of course, everything's always dirty and compounded. The, uh, the ground wire is actually, they got it running kind of where I wouldn't do it, but it's, it's uh, grounded in the right spot. I've seen a lot of these grounded in the wrong spot. They use the V setup pattern. Um, the, is that, what the, there we go. Okay, so the guitar string wasn't even in properly, as you can see. Ah, they didn't string it right. So let's wind that one up. It was, uh, wasn't down in the uh, block properly. And these are just the quality control issues that you get, but still, if the neck straight and the body works, you know what? Let me grab mine. There we go. That's a little easier. Eight million wines on it because they 
didn't do it right. Makes you wonder if people who actually do the assembling actually know or actually know how guitars get assembled. Makes you wonder. But once again, guys, look at Wilkinson pickups. So apparently, um, Larry made had a deal. They were experimenting with what pickups from different manufacturers they're going to use, and they chose Wilkinson. Wilkinson's not bad. Well, they're not the best, but they're not bad. Um, I, I'm glad I see these instead of some others. A little clean it up. Stay right there. I'm going to show you some little doodad. And this is just some simple things. But of course, we got to get some some uh, chrome or some gold hardware for it. We're gonna have to get the gold boat tail. You know something I found out the other day though. I really don't have to pay the money for the gold um, the gold trim because on his number one. The, the, when he first did it, it was chrome, and it just had gold screws in it, and then later on it was changed to a gold one. I didn't realize that until I started looking at some old photos of his guitar, and then I started reading about it, and I watched a whole documentary of all the changes that the guitar went through. His first guitar, the number one, he got it from a music store, I forget what it was. Interesting story, he used to go in there all the time, and he'd touch all the guitars, but he never took one down off the shelf, which I found was pretty... Weird, he never took them down and played, played them. And then one day he went in and he saw number one and it was already beat up. So he didn't beat that guitar to hell. He got it pretty beat up to begin with. Of course he did, you know, he did get his use with them. I digress. So he goes in and he's been going in the store for a long, long, long time. One day he walks in and he sees this guitar amongst brand new ones. He sees this old one, he touches it. He decides to take it down and play it. And that was his guitar. And the owner of the guitar store said to him, why do you want that piece of shit? <laughs> Stevie Ray Bond said, that's the one. And from then on, it was number one. Neat, uh, neat bit of trivia there. So um, it's kind of fun because I made the statement the other day and I said, well, even Stevie Ray Bond's guitar was new once. And yeah, it was new once. And it was traded in by someone who was kind of a famous guitar player, I believe, uh, at that music store. But um it's, it's just funny because, um, no, Stevie Ray Vaughan's number one was never new when he had it. So it's just, uh, we learn something new every day. But anyhow, what do we have? Well, we got the white covers for the pickups. Hopefully they are the right size. I believe they are. Should be 52 millimeter. We have our, our uh, white, you want to call them cream, uh, tone and uh, volume knobs. We have our... Stevie Ray Vaughan sticker for the black trim. And of course we have our custom logo. And then when we get the right headstock shape, we have our Fender Stratocaster original contour body. You know something? I think it would be pretty hilarious just to put it on this guitar. Original contour body on this headstock on a Glary. I think that would be quite comical. Maybe we'll do that. Because like I said, it's just a studio wall hanger. So what do you think guys, 70 bucks? I don't think you can beat it for 70 bucks. Um, they do have uh, shielding paint in here too, which is kind of surprising. Um, very cool, springs are, seem stiff. They have the, it drawn all the way in. And um, yeah, I'm guessing because, I mean, they got the, the wrong strings. <laughs> very hilarious. Thanks for watching guys. Um, Make sure you tune in again. Hit that like button, share, subscribe. Pretty soon I'm going to be finished. This is just a quick video. Pretty soon I'm going to be finishing up the gem build of the Guitar Kit World uh, gem style guitar, which is turning out amazing. Beautiful guitar. Man, I hope it plays good. Um, but I think it's going to. And uh, I'm getting some slack because there's a lot of people who love BYO, a lot of people who love Guitar Kit World, and a lot of bickering amongst them and telling me which is the best um, but I'm going to tell you what I believe is the best or are they close to the same we'll find out soon guys thanks for watching I'll talk to you soon bye